Hi children, I am back with another question from the chapter 4 of class 10 physics. Let's start with the question. A body of mass 100, 500 grams initially at rest is acted upon by a force of 10 kgf for 10 seconds. Now we have to calculate the acceleration caused by the force. Second, the velocity acquired by the body. Third one, the distance travelled by the body in this time. First of all, let's note from the question, what are the given quantities in the question? First of all, we can see the mass is given as 500 gram. Since uh, in each for each questions, we have to convert it into the standard SI unit form. So, converting mass into from gram to kg. So, we have to divide by 1000 and we can get 0.5 kg. Initially at rest. This so tells us that the initial velocity of the body is 0. Is acted upon by a force of 10 kgf. Force is given in kgf unit and we have to convert it into standard form that is in Newton. How can we convert this one? 10 kgf. 10 kgf means the force applied on 10 kg. And force here, what is the force? The force we can uh, take the center of gravity that is already we can assume here it is shown in the question to be assuming 10 meter per second square. So uh, what will be the uh, unit in Newton? What is the force? What amount of force acting in Newton? So 10 kg into force. Force is 10 meters. So 10 kg into 10 meter per second square that is 100 Newton. And the time taken is here 10 seconds. So, we have to calculate the acceleration caused by the force. Let's see how to calculate this problem. Yeah. Let's uh, see how the solution is given. First, I have written all the given quantities. As I have already said, Mass is 0.5 kg. U is the initial velocity. I am writing in the short forms. F stands for force and that has been calculated 10 into 10 10y because g is 10. So, I have given 10, 100 newton. Then time is 10 second. Now coming to force. First one is to calculate the acceleration. From the relation force is equal to mass into acceleration. And we have taken out force in Newton that is 100 Newton then mass is 0.5 kg. And since both are in SI units so the acceleration is coming to 200 meter per second square. And how does it come? We will be studying in our next tutorial. From the second question tells us to find the final velocity. Velocity acquired is the final velocity and since u is 0. Calculating it, we can see that the answer comes as final velocity comes as 2000 meter per second square. And the distance traveled when the body is given a force of this 100 Newton. So, how to calculate this distance from the equation of motion, which uh, tells us this formula S is equal to ut plus half at square? We are putting the values of ut and a already calculated as 200 here and t is given as 10 so directly i have put in the value of 10 square 100 and the distance becomes 10000 meter this is how we can calculate this is a simple problem but remember children always you have to calculate while calculating you have to convert the matters into its si unit if it is given in kgf you have to convert it into newton if it is in kg then it's okay and uh, if it is in centimeter you have to convert it in meter thank you for now